we live in a country that has rule of law, that's a stable society, and so it can be easy to say, well, what does international human rights matter to me? I've got the Constitution to protect me, I've got the U.S. court system, why should I care about this international body of law? If people in other countries lack rule of law, if they lack protection of human rights and democracy, inevitably that spills over into the international sphere. And if the U.S. is to remain a global leader, that will eventually implicate us in terms of our national security, in terms of our trade, in terms of our foreign policy. If you look at World War II, you can see the role that human rights violations played in creating that global conflict. At the end of World War II, the U.S. exercised leadership on the issue at the founding of the U.N., saying it's important for peace and security and for the U.S.'s place in a stable global world to have protection of human rights internationally because it really will come back to affect the U.S. if there isn't a stable global system of rule of law. The U.S. has a vision of what a good society is that's based on democracy, that's based on rule of law, that's based on individuals having human rights. There are competing ideologies out there that don't emphasize democracy, that don't emphasize protection for human rights, whether it be religious ideologies like ISIS or competing theories of authoritarian states in which the market exists, but individuals don't have the right to democracy in a country like China. And I think the U.S., with its vision of democracy and human rights as the foundation for stable societies, has a really strong interest in showing how well that model can work, that democracy and human rights is a way to build a good society. So human trafficking today and what some people call contemporary forms of slavery is also a huge issue globally. And one of the things we can learn from the past is the degree to which international cooperation is necessary to deal with human trafficking. That was certainly something that was essential in combating the slave trade in the 19th century. We could think about using private incentives like asset forfeiture, where people would have an incentive to turn in someone who they knew in the neighborhood was engaging or using people for human trafficking. And there are international efforts at cooperation, but a lot more could be done. I've been working on the issue of corporation and human rights for several years now. I became involved when the Supreme Court heard a case called Keobel in which a oil company, Royal Dutch Shell, was sued for aiding and abetting human rights violations in Nigeria. They were uh, doing drilling operations in a region there that was environmentally sensitive, and villagers in that region were opposing those efforts, and a number of them were tortured and killed by the government. Some of their relatives ended up in the United States where they received political asylum, and once here in the United States, they sued Shell Oil for its role in aiding and abetting the government's um, abuse of their, of their relatives. The Supreme Court was asked to rule in the Kiobel case that corporations simply couldn't be liable for human rights violations at all. And I think because they realized that that would have really bad optics. They recently held in Citizens United that corporations had rights of free speech, and it was posed very straightforwardly, well, if corporations have rights, like the right to free speech, how can they possibly have no responsibilities under human rights law and no obligation not to aid and abet torture or to aid and abet genocide? And the Supreme Court declined in the end to answer the question of whether human rights liability could attach to corporations and instead decided the Kiobel case on a very technical question of jurisdiction. And the lower courts are now still grappling with this question of whether and when corporations can be liable for human rights violations, and it hasn't been resolved. <laughs>